Hey y'all, what's up and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe to be doing a story time. When I say juicy, I mean receipts, screenshots, videos, all of that. It's real messy, so grab you a drink and sit back. Sip it all, baby, okay? I just want to say to all you mad ones, sit down. Everybody that knows me knows that I am so unproblematic and grown these days. Like, I don't even get into it. Beef, I don't do none of that. I don't give a fuck about it. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really care. So, for bitches to come at me... Or talk about me, my family, this, that, and the third over a story time. You bitches is mad. And I still make you bitches sweat a little bit. You're mad hoe, you're a sad hoe, get a bad hoe. Anyways. To give y'all a little backstory. Um, I was new to a school. Um, I met a group of girls. Mind you, this girl, the first girl that I had a problem with this was one of the girls that i had become really close with and we we clicked i'm not gonna lie like you know she was a cool girl first female to ever come up and talk to me and be like hey like what's up like you seem cool like you know invite me out to lunch with her friends um the other girls you know they really just came along you know i i think everybody was her friend and we all just got along and became a really big group like a friend group a friend groups never last if you're in high school your friend group is not gonna last so let it go baby if it does last round of applause to you i only fuck with two maybe three people out of that friend group i don't really fuck with anybody else another one bites the motherfucking dust when i got to this school a good friend of mine we're still friends to this day um she told me to watch out because the bitches at this school was real sneaky, real full of drama. She was basically warning me to watch my back for these sneaky ass hoes. And I didn't listen because, bitch, I don't know you either. Like, you know. And then on top of that, it was really just a I want to see it for myself type of thing, you know. But she was right. <laughs> She was definitely right. I definitely should have listened to her. But basically, we all became really cool. And this particular girl that I had got into it with, she was mixed up in a lot of drama. Like, I want to say my week being there, like, one of the girls that ended up being our friend, in our friend group had walked up to her on some hot shit. Like, what's up? Like, you know, you was talking about me. Like, what you want to do? I'm like, damn. I'm like, what do you Mind y'all, I am so new to this school. People already starting out to like me just because of the people I hang around. Or maybe it's because I, me, I, I don't know. Bitches be hating these days. You never really know. You never really know who hating on you, who fake being a friend, who, who fuck with you for real, for real. You never really know until you walk up out of the high school with your motherfucking diploma in your hand, okay? So, basically, a lot of females wasn't fucking with me because who I was fucking with and no shade, no, you know, I wasn't tripping, but the girl walked up to her on hot shit. So basically I ended, I knew, I knew from then, then and there, it was always going to be a problem if I'm fucking with this girl and her posse and whoever the fuck else. I'm going to fuck with people who fuck with me. If you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. If we cool, we cool. We like this. Bitch, we like this. But this girl, she she was cool. Like, I was fucking with the vibes. So, a month, I say a month. No, it wasn't a month. It was like a few months went by, like, without drama. It was always some drama, but in our circle. Like, bitches was real shady. Like, this girl's girls, like... It was just girls, girl, and I don't like that. If I was really on the fence um, about, you know, just being so close to her because I didn't want any drama. 
I'm in a new school, you know, I didn't want drama. This was more of a conservative school, like it wasn't less, it was less, I don't want to say ghetto, but it was more of a suburban school and I'm not usually used to those type of schools um, due to my upbringing. So me going to this school, it was different. I didn't want to get in no trouble. I just wanted to graduate. It was my junior year. I didn't want to get in no trouble. I don't want to be in no drama. None of that. I don't want to have to call nobody to see who can come up here and be somebody ass for me because why i don't want to be in beef just because my friend is in beef when deep down inside i know these bitches ain't even my friends for real like you bitches just my school friends want to be in no type of mess because of her so i started to distance myself like i know we had like i think it was like an hour lunch we had an hour lunch i think and if you were a junior and up, I, so I think it was just like the juniors and the seniors was the only ones allowed to go out for lunch. When I say out, I mean like outside of the school building. So we would go to like Chinese restaurants, McDonald's, you know, shit like that, walking distance, because obviously none of us have a car. So I would just start going out by myself rather than going out with my friends. I like to be by myself because I didn't want to be in drama you know i didn't want to be in the midst of drama and how things get started around i didn't i didn't want to be in no drama i ended up telling the girl how i felt like she was in drama to where bitches was trying to fight her and she would look to her friends to see like what's up like who bitch i'm not fighting for you i'm sorry i don't fight for nobody but my family and my close friends i'm not fighting for you you know i fuck with you but if it come down to it and you getting like, you know, jumped or something, like, of course I'm gonna be that friend and step in, but I'm not fighting your battles. That's just something I'm not gonna do. It's just messy. I didn't wanna be in no mess. I didn't wanna be messy. I didn't want any of that. So I texted her and I let her know how I felt, you know? Um, and I just let her know like, yeah, like I don't think I wanna be cool with you no more or I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I said. I have videos. I have everything. So nobody can say I'm, I'm lying because I don't lie. 2,000 years later. So here is one of the screenshots with my other friend that I had. Uh, it wasn't a problem. Like, I didn't have a problem with them. It was more of a... I'm just letting y'all know I'm keeping my distance or they started to notice that and I just wanted to let them know like it was never any problem with y'all like I never had any beef or any problem I'm saying it was never it was never an issue with them hoes it was never I just not for the drama but but if you bring drama to me I'm all for it I didn't like how she was moving and I just started to see fake shit that I didn't like. So I removed myself from the equation. And she literally got to posting subliminals and shit on Snapchat about how one of our friends that I wasn't fucking with at the time, she was closer to her, all type of shit. Like, you know, like it was just messy. It was real messy. Those subs, like, it was a mess, bitch. Don't throw no subliminal at me, bitch, because I'm going to throw a tree at you, ho. Don't throw no subliminals. And I'm going to tag you. It's not going to be a sub subliminal. It's going to be a front, close, personal, bitch. Once I start, I do not stop. There's nothing stopping me unless it's the police. And bitches love to call the police. Once she started throwing subliminals, I posted and I said, females throwing hella subs on social media, but see me in person be hella quiet. I make you whole sweat. I've been talking like this. This been me. Bitch, I never changed. Nothing about me changed. I'm just like, okay, like, you know, if that's what you want to do, you want to make it beef, cool. I'm not going to entertain it. But I swiped up on her post, and I'm like, what's good? Like, what you, what's up? You know, like, 
And she's just going back and forth. Mind you, y'all, this day so happened to be her birthday. I'm, I don't give a fuck about a bitch's birthday unless it's mine or my friends. So I really didn't pay attention to it. But it was her birthday. And she was just talking hella shit. She was talking hella shit. And I wasn't fucking with it. So I told her to fight me. Like, just talking so much shit. So I'm like, bitch, let's fight. Bucked up at me. I'm like, oh, bitch, you gonna buck up at me. But you're not gonna buck up at these girls that wanna fight you. How you gonna... Like, bitch, what? Like, you sound dumb. Like, how you gonna buck up at me, but you're not trying to buck up at these bitches that's trying to fight you? So, I'm just thinking... I'm just thinking she, um... Just talking her shit, you know? Eventually, a few classes go by, and I get a text from a screenshot of her cousin that went to school with us talking about me. Like, she just talking heavy shit, and she sent this to my former friend, one of my friends at the time, talking about uh, your ugly ass friend, like she trying to fight my cousin on her birthday, da, 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 da. So I texted her too, and I'm like, well, bitch, do you wanna fight? Like, I will fight all you bitches, line them up. I will fight all you bitches, I don't care. Or bitch, I would just disrespect you because you can't handle my mouth, you can't. I think it was around I want to say like fourth, fifth period, almost time for us to go home. She was like, okay, let's meet in the bathroom. So I'm like, okay, we can meet in the bathroom and let's fight. So I pull up with me, my other friend, and my other friend, her name is Kaya, my best friend now, Kaya. She walk in, you know, it's her birthday. She got a little stash, bitch, you ugly. You thought you ate, you didn't, babe. Mm, you didn't eat. It's your birthday. And I'm about to make your birthday even worse. Since you want to be Twitter fingers, you want to get on Snapchat talking that crazy shit. Okay, bet. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, what you want to do? We get to the bathroom and I'm literally just screaming at this hoe. You're pussy as fuck. You're pussy as fuck. Lower your voice and watch how you talk to me before I smack the shit out of you. What you want to do? You want to get your cousin because she a senior and you think I'm going to be scared? Like, no, bitch. So I just have to let her know. Uh, mind y'all, while I'm screaming at her, she's literally just sitting there. Like, she's not doing anything. Like, she's just sitting there. Or she would say something like, mm. or her face would just look like, so, like, like, like she was testing me to hit her or beat her ass. And I really wanted to, but... I was taught never to put my hands on anybody first, especially at school. I was gonna wait for her to do something. If somebody in my face screaming and yelling and hollering, hooping and hollering on my birthday, oh, uh, but you gonna have to see me. You gonna have to see me about it. You talking about me on Snapchat, but you you can't back it up. Not one bit. Like, yeah, like you talking shit like, what's up, let's fight. We walk outside, mind you, she said her cousin's coming to the bathroom, her cousin gonna fight for it. Her cousin coming to the bathroom, her cousin, her cousin is, her cousin, her cousin is. Okay, cool, I'm waiting on your cousin. I guess her cousin's supposed to come to the bathroom. We walk out of the bathroom and all administration right there. And so is the cousin. So you telling me you did all of this just to run to the office. She ain't gonna step to me, but she gonna step to that motherfucking office. She gonna step to the office. She gonna tell the office that I was bullying you and that this, this, that, and the third. We ended up having to go into the principal office and we was basically talking about it. I don't remember what happened. I really think they gave me like a little slap on the wrist or just a little detention or something. Sometimes in life, you have to stand your ground if you have to let bitches know that you're not one to be played with. And in that moment, I felt like that's what I needed to do. So that's just what I did. I feel like you could disrespect me or get somebody on me. How you gonna get somebody on me and that person is scared too? Telling the office, like. What? Like, like what? That's just a fail. I thought she was gonna do something. My cousin would have beat my ass. If, if that was me and I call my cousin, my cousin would have, ooh, my cousin would have did me real good. But you see, if you want to come at me and think I'm not going to say anything to you, you just, 
You're delusional. You're weak in the knees, bitch. Stand up. He ran to the office and told, you know, that's what bitches do. That's just the scary hoes do. So I wasn't really surprised about that. Basically, after that, the group kind of navigated to me. And none of them was fucking with her. So she was basically out of the friend group. And none of them was really fucking with her at that point. Like, it wasn't even me, really. It was just the simple fact that she was messy. And everybody knew that. But I was just the only one to say, like, I can't fuck with you no more because you're messy. Like, you're a mess. And I don't want to be involved in your mess. And then on top of that, you're a snitch. So, of course, nobody's going to want to be friends with you or fuck with you. Um, she continued to talk shit, of course, because that's what scary hoes do. They run their mouth. They talk shit. That's just what scary bitches do. So I wasn't surprised. I was not surprised at all. That was just that, you know, it was a lot of messiness after that. But that's high school, you know. High school is gonna be messy. It's not gonna be peaches and cream. It's just messy. High school is messy. That is this story time. I know it was a little short, but I was kind of rushing because of all the aftermath that happened after I posted my teaser for the story time. It's old, it's not new news to me. I'm not really mad about it or anything, but for y'all to just be doing so much and still to this day be bitches, punks, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.